it's inspirational nails and I'm super excited to show you this this is the I hope I'm saying it right sissy and sissy uh, new plates the new jumbo plates that have come out that's right if you have not seen the new jumbo plates um, set number three and number four have come out and you can get these where I got these on Amazon and of course they're $29.99 just like the other sets um, and they come in these neat new boxes versus the set one and set two came more in like a plastic uh, casing but this actually comes in a box casing uh, now and this is their new kind of wrapping that they're sending out their uh, packaging in so I want to go ahead and show you um, the first one which is this is the jumbo set number three so I'm just gonna go ahead and move number four to the side and it comes in this really neat white box okay and then all you do is you you pull the flag it uh, like the flap what it does have is this like little sticker here okay and it's a cute sticker it is kind of annoying to take out but it is this really neat sticker that says um, their name on it with the two fairies and of course you know this is just the back of the box it even gives you what's really neat it gives you um, a little bit of information about the whole stamping nail art and shows you how to instructions on how to use it and how to use the plates um, and of course if you have been doing stamping you pretty much know how to um, use the stamping plates if you don't um, there are so so many YouTube videos that teach you how to stamp and use stamping plates um, I am gonna say that stamping plates have just gotten better and better and better and I, I can tell you that there's so many companies out there that are making so many wonderful plates um, from very inexpensive to more you know um, it, it can range from between less than a dollar all the way up to probably fifteen dollars uh, depending on what you're getting and what company you're getting it from I mean this is a whole entire uh, set that you're getting um, and this here it is $29.99 um, but you're getting a whole entire collection and also um, the actual packaging of it is awesome because they come already in its own you know a little pouch basically where you can contain them so let me open this so again the flap just opens up and here is where they store and if you have the first the jumbo set number one and jumbo set number two you know that jumbo set number one comes in a white casing and jumbo set number two comes in a pink casing okay and it comes with this as well which is the stamper and the scraper and the scraper is a metal scraper okay and most people um, they don't utilize the metal scrapers because they don't want to scratch their plates and there are people that really don't care um, I personally like using um, a card just like if you would use a gift card I have these these are just plain blank there, there's nothing on them and they work great so they also have these that are completely plastic and they work great as well and then you have the stamper which their stamper is pretty cool it is gray which is great especially when you're utilizing um, what uh, the color white you could really definitely see it and it's actually pretty squishy look at that it's not as firm as the Conan so it definitely has a really great you know squishy but it still has some firm as you can see you know just by me pushing my finger um, I'm definitely putting you know a little bit of pressure on there um, so I have seen people use them and they look like they work pretty well okay so I'm gonna go ahead and just move the box out of the way so that I can show you this 
Okay, so it comes in this beautiful yellow casing. It's so pretty. Okay, and then you just have the, of, the, of course, to, um, to the clip. And here are the plates. Now, this is um, it's plate number 13, and it goes all the way to number 18. Okay, so you would just pull it out of the flap, and it comes with that hard plastic casing. And this is plate number 13, you can see it there. And th the way they've done this um, set between these two sets is they all have, you know, a very big, big image here. And then you have smaller images here, which is great. Because uh, you definitely have an infinity type of image up here. And then all the individual ones down here that you can, you know, pull from. So this first one just has a lot of um, different type of floral images. Well, you have all different types of images realistic, realistically on this plate. Um, look at this image here I love, which is butterflies. You have this gorgeous infinity one that has all these like flowers and swirls. And down here as well, you have just so many different variety of things going on. Um, you have some more um, abstract going on and definitely some more unique type of images. So that's plate number 13. Okay, uh, this is plate number 14. Th this one has a more oriental feel. It definitely, you see the infinity plate up here. It has some um, uh, Chinese writing or Asian writing. Um, and you see it says Chinese tea gift. It has little things like that, just little really interesting details. Um, and it, it's a, see, look, it says green tea right here. So it definitely has a very um, oriental feel. And then down here, you also have all these beautiful images. Okay. Okay, this is number 15. And number 15, also, again, just a lot of beautiful um, different types of images. Um, the one image that really stands out is this one here because it has an owl. And I love this image. I think that that's such a really pretty owl. Uh, different than the other, um, than other plates that I've seen that have our images, owl images on there. <laughs> you have a lot of floral images on here. Um, you have... Up here you have just this beautiful it's almost like it's split up in four if you look at it um, like four different images all in one and you can kind of see where the split goes into play so I really like that okay and then this one is plate number 16 and this one is really interesting. Um, it's kind of a combination from a comic going kind of gothic. That's the way I see it. You know, you have up here, you have this skull. It says um, boom and bam and, you know, I think that says sprung, I think. Okay, and you have another skull right here. You have these images here. You have this one that's really interesting. Um, I want to say it's a skull with his mouth open and almost like flames coming out, it looks like. Which I think that is really, really cool. And you have this little um, interesting cat, very whimsical. Like almost on top of, uh, you know, it's there on, uh, the cat is like... It, kind of like on a ledge and it has all these little twinkling stars. I don't know, it's pretty interesting this plate. It has a lot of thing, little different things going on. Um, so it, it is for me a very unique a unique plate right here. And this is again number 16. Okay, the next one is number 6, 7, I'm sorry, 17. Now this one has more of a, 
I don't know how to describe it. I mean, more of a different, I don't know. It has a lot going on in here. I mean, I mean, you have Jesus on a cross, which I kind of didn't understand that with the rest of the plate. I don't know. It's really interesting, this plate. I mean, maybe take it for your own perspective, but... So you definitely, you know, you have some facial images. See, like this lady here. You have this one here. Um, this also silhouette of a of a woman there. You know, some things I don't really understand. I gotta kind of really look at it. But it's definitely an interesting plate. Definitely a, a talkative piece right here. <laughs> um, okay, and then the last plate, which is plate number eighteen. Um, it's just another, you know, it has a lot of different, um, abstract type of images, especially within the infinity, infinity, infinity image up here, sorry. And then you have these down here that also have, again, very random images. I mean, there's really, I don't know, for some reason the plates don't seem very cohesive with a certain type of you know, style, I guess. I don't know. I guess that's just the way I see. I don't know. That's just what I see. Um, I think maybe one or two out of the six plates really have, you know, a very base, you know, very equal type of theme that goes to it. The rest of them, I don't think so. Like this here has like hearts. You see that? Um, this one here just looks very, uh, probably I don't know. It says like three. I don't know. It has like all these little lines on it. it. Really doesn't have anything symbolic. I don't think. You know, this one just doesn't have the same type of feel of what's up here. At least that's what I, how I see it. Okay, so that is for um, the jumbo set, uh, which this is the jumbo set number three okay and I'm now going to show you set number four and number four is red and it comes with the same thing as I said before the little scraper and um, the stamper and the scraper oh my god I just like lost my train of thought there and this one comes in a red casing okay and um, I'm going to go ahead and open it up now this one is plate number 19, and again it comes with that hard uh, plastic in the back, and look at this, I love this red. Now this, this set I think is my favorite out of the two, as in the whole entire collection. This one here has, this first one kind of has this whole Paris, um, it says up here, as you see, the Eiffel Tower, it says France, um, um, oh la la, you know, very French. You have a lot of things in here, um, that is just so cool. Um, you have like Chanel number no. five, cafe, you have cheese going on. <laughs> um, you know, you just have a lot of things going on that's very European oriented, very Paris. You even have a croissant on there, guys. Look at that. It does a croissant. Um, and then down here you have some really nice images. I definitely can pick up, you know, the, the French feel out of it. Uh, you definitely have um, here, this is like an air balloon. Um, I'm not sure. This kind of looks like beans to me. <laughs> this looks like an apple with some wording on there. Um, this one here is like the earth with... At least it looks like an earth. I'm not too sure. It's kind of interesting. This one almost looks like it has birds. I don't know. This image. Sometimes when you stamp it, you definitely see more of the image itself than sometimes looking at the plate, if that makes any sense. Ruby, I'm not sure. I mean, it's definitely a cat that says Ruby, but I don't know what who Ruby is. Maybe somebody can tell me. Okay, the next plate is number 20. Oops. 
Okay, um, plate number 20 has a, you know, a lot of wording on there. You know, you see like dog, you have like um, a candy king. Um, you have just, uh, again, this one is a little bit, has a lot of different sayings on it. And then down here um, on the more individual, you have a, just a lot of things going on. You have like from birth, uh, birthday balloon, you know, balloons to this lady on, um, it looks like she's at the beach and, you know, overlooking the sky rise. You definitely have here where it, it's like a spaceship. You have fruits that says friends on it. I, this is like really, an, again, a very interesting plate. You have like this like jockey riding a horse. Um, you know, just a lot of different things going on in this plate, again, as I said. Okay, so, moving on to the next. This one's plate number 21. Um, plate number 21, up here on the infinity part, it does have, for me, an or another kind of oriental feel. You have the bamboo. Um, you definitely have these, um, flowers with the leaves. You, you definitely have a lot of like um, these like puzzle type of mazes kind of thing going on. This feels very oriental to me. Um, down here on the other hand, again, very different. Um, some really different type of images. I love this one right here. Okay, you have this amazing one of this woman right here. Um, I mean, don't touch me. Do you see this? Look at this. He looks scary. He looks great for Halloween. Um, so this says something here. Hmm. I'm not sure if I can pick it up yet. I definitely will be playing with these plates to kind of see more once I stamp the image. Um, see what it actually is. <laughs> Okay, and the next one is plate number 22. This one, for me, is so artistically like Halloween right here. You know, it has like these, this infinity part up here is just really cool. I think it just has a um, an artist feel with a kind of zombie-like I don't know, that's what I see. Like, look at this guy here. It looks like his eye is all dripping with blood or, you know, it just is pretty cool. So definitely right here, I think you can you can utilize this big time for Halloween. Uh, down here, also you have some really cool, interesting, you have like the skulls. Um, you have, um, oh look, it's the presidents. Look at that, from Yellowstone. Uh, so you have this guy, or woman, I guess, as a woman. I think she looks like she's lighting up a cigarette. Um, this is a, a silhouette of a woman laying down, which I think that's beautiful with her hair. This one, I see like a facial image right here, like a funny face, like a smiley face. And you have all these different things going on, like the lipstick. Um, this one here looks like it's like cat and dog, kind of like a puzzle. And again, another very, these are really, really interesting plates. Okay, so that was plate number 22. Okay, and this is plate number 23. I think that this plate is just a really gorgeous plate. The infinity part just has some beautiful images. Look at these roses on this vine. I, I love this right here. I love it all. I think this right here is just absolutely gorgeous. And these images down here, again, I think is beautiful. I love how they did this with the, like, almost looking like ladybugs. I think that's what they, actually, that's what they are, little ladybugs with the little flowers. And, you know, you can use them as individuals, you know, like the strip right there or just use the ladybugs on their own. Um, you definitely, I love this. I love this image with the hearts because I'm a heart lover. Um, I love this, it almost looks like the inside of a watch. I love these open flowers. You definitely can color these in um, to give a lot of pop, you know, or have a more base 
background that has, you know, um, if you're shading or, you know, sponging different colors when you stamp this on, you're definitely going to see that background pop. I love this, you know, um, these icicle flakes. Really pretty, really pretty um, plate. Okay, and then the last plate on here is plate number 24. And this one is, um, again, a lot of different stuff. I mean, it, it's, it really doesn't have a theme. I don't think either one has a really base type of theme to them. Um, except for maybe one or two plates, as I said. This one here has just some really beautiful images in the infinity section. And then here you have, I would say you have some C, um, some C outside, things like that, because as you see here, you have an anchor and you have like a, a, um, a starfish. It looks like some fishes are passing by, um, some bubbles, you know, here you have like, um, this, you know, the, the coral or seaweed, uh, here you have some starfish going on here. I'm not sure. Looks almost like some flowers. Um, here another again just different type of floral this here it looks to me like a rose but polka dot rose I don't know that's what I see here's this beautiful beautiful rose um, so definitely it's it's different it's different this one says summer days I think it is summer days so it, it just has some really interesting images so I hope that you enjoyed this um, review on showing you the, uh, the CC and Sussy plates um, for the jumbo number three and number four. And um, I got them off of Amazon, as I said before, they are $29.99. And um, I think that they are very different type of um images that are on there so they're they're definitely unique i think some of them are definitely unique plates um so again as i said before i hope you enjoyed this and until the next one bye guys